today we are going to cover the topic of mulching. Uh, let's take a look at this mulch. Mulch. You can see dry leaves here. You can see green leaves also, and uh, you can see some soil on top of this little tree we have planted. Hopefully, it will sprout some new leaves and it will become a tree. This is a tapioca plant, and uh, here we have also you also have some soil on top of the mulch. So why do we do this, right? I mean, why are we doing this? I'll start with the dry leaves. It's very simple. The dry leaves are from trees whose root systems are much, much deeper into the soil compared to small plants, you know, little plants. So when the root systems go very deep into the soil, they collect all the nutrients from the nutrient profile that's deep below the soil and bring it to the leaf and then drop it to the ground. So now this has come to the top soil and when it rots, all the minerals in this comes to the top soil. So essentially by using trees, we are transferring nutrients from deep below the soil profile to the top soil. So that's the whole idea. That's the power of mulching using tree leaves. Let's look at green leaves. Green leaves contain a lot of nitrogen. So we can mulch that also in the soil so that the soil can get some nitrogen. And we can put some soil on top of it so that all the nitrogen gets digested in the soil. The other power of mulching is that the thicker the mulch, the more cooler the soil that is below. And having a cool soil on a hot sunny day is really, really going to help this plant's root system develop really well. Because roots love this cooling effect, right? The other powerful thing about mulching is this. When you mulch like this, right? Let's imagine all the leaves slowly rotting away. When they actually rot away, lot of earthworms right below the soil can smell the rotting of these things. Automatically, the earthworms will start traveling towards them and when they travel, they are creating an earthworm pathway. They will start pulling this mulch into the soil because they want to eat the rotting mulch. So this is creating lot of pore spaces below. Not only will the earthworm come, lot of millipedes will come, lot of pill bugs will come lot of other kinds of good bugs in the soil will come that will actually start consuming the rotting uh, mulch. So this creates very interesting biodiversity in the soil that will actually help this particular plant that we have planted right here. Thank you.